tramsgadar.com and uh, we are going to take a look at a few ideas of improvisation so if you have already watched my previous video of how to start improvising there I've given you a lot of ideas and here we are going to take a specific chord progression so we are not leaving the key of C so whatever we are going to do initially will be remaining in the C major scale so the chord progression that we have taken is very simple this is a loop that I've created this is C going to F sorry yes C F so C and F are in C major scale if you already know alright so here we are going to use only this shape Here we are going to use some ideas like when the C chord is going on all the notes of the C major scale are valid when the F chord is going on all the notes of the, F, of the C major scale is valid but we need to have some specific target points in order to make these solos sound good so the first target is we are going to target the arpeggios alright so here in C major we are going to use C E G C E G is the C major chord. One three five of a major scale. If you know, one two three four five. One three five. One three five gives you C major triad or C major arpeggio. Okay. So we are going to use these arpeggios and we are going to use the triad shapes as well. Triad means three notes, strictly three notes. C E G. So if you are using any shape, then we are not going to take more than three notes all right so i'll go i'll be showing you the cg notes in this position and the f triad is f a c f a c so first let us learn the cg triad so fifth string third fret is c fourth string second fret is e and fourth string fifth fret is G so C E G so when you are soloing and the first chord C is going on so we might use these three notes as the target notes okay so we can take C E G and I'll be using the other notes of the scale but these are my target points I, I'll start making melodies using this or I'll be stopping in these notes like So this is C E G and just below the fifth fret on so it's the third string fifth fret basically. Three five is your C note. So this is root I'll change the tone. So this is a root note. So you need to know your C notes. This is also root and below C you get E. 1 3 so the sequence is 1 3 5 1 3 5 see if you listen to the sound carefully 1 3 5 in the next octave 1 3 5 same sound so I can take G here also so you need to be aware of the notes so 5th string 3rd fret 4th string 2nd fret 4th string 5th fret 3rd string 5th fret 2nd string 5th fret first string third fret and C I can take here first string eighth fret there are a few tricks you need to remember just above the root you get the fifth so if this is C this is G so if this is C this is G if this is C this is G all right sorry yes and it's not valid for the second and third string pair so if I take C here, this is not G, this, sorry, this is G, because of the tuning, you have to move one fret backwards, so you have to flat it, so C, G, C, G, C, G, alright, so, so these are the target notes, you should make a diagram of this, you should download this diagram from my website and plot the one three fives of C major alright and 
then you have to visualize the scale so you think that this is the skeleton over which the scale is formed so these are the notes if with the 1 3 5 i add a 2 4 6 and 7 i get a major scale think in terms of this then it's whole lot easy to remember so after 1 you got 2 after 3 you got 4 after 5 you got 6 before oh sorry before 1 you got 7 so these are my target notes and my scale is there so i have now some specific tools to utilize so similarly you need to find out the notes of the f triad or f major chord and you need to remember these notes so the more we take these situations then you already get to know so f a and c is are the notes of f major so f a c fourth string third fret and now you already know that C notes so so F A C and C E G are the two triads and here you see that between F and C triads you have the C note as the common so so when you are going from C to F so you can use the C note as a common note all right something wrong with my light all right so F is 4th string 3rd fret A is 3rd string 2nd fret C is 3rd string 5th fret Then again F is on the 6th fret 2nd string A is on the 5th fret 1st string And C is on the 1st string 8th fret So if you remember this shape Just think in terms of a shape It's an angle It's showing C, E and G so this shape, this shape is a major triad shape. It's valid for all the string pairs apart from the second and the third string. If I keep track of this triad, one, three, five of C, and if I play the same shape here from F here on the third string, fourth string, third fret, see the shape is same, and it's giving you F triad. So these are the common tools that you can use. And now let us take some specific triad shapes that you can use. Like if you bar the fourth, the bar from the fourth string to the second string on the fifth fret, there's a C triad. It's boiling hot out here. I'll have to finish the video quickly, but anyway, I'll give you a lot of good information. So this is my C triad, and these triads are used by like millions of in millions of songs by great players like this triad is used heavily by Knopfler, Gilmore, Hendrix anyway so if you can use it properly then you can use this triad for rhythm purpose also and solo purpose also anyway so this is my C triad here I'm not leaving this shape basically so today's lesson will be covering this shape only and you'll see that there are so many possibilities in this little shape so this is my triad c triad and if i take generally we take triad as three string groups so it's a two three and fourth second third and fourth string group and if i take one two and three string group my triad will be like this so here it's like this it starts off with the fifth g c e so you need to remember this also five one three and if I take the triad from 1st, 2nd and 3rd string, it will be like this. 1st string, 3rd fret, you put your 1st finger, put your 4th finger on 2nd string, 5th fret and 3rd finger on 3rd string, 5th fret. So this is G, this is E and C. So this is C, E, G. So you can use something of this sort, these sweeps, you know. When you have a, a shape, you can use these sweeps. So if you can remember. This is a, a very famous lick. So this lick is actually a minor triad anyway. So we can use it in your own way here if you are using a major triad. So two shapes. Alright, for the time being. And for F, what you can use is this shape. Actually, this shape, this note is not from the shape that we are using. But anyway, you can take A here also. This is A, this is A. This is a very standard shape. 
So you can do a lot of stuffs like so I'll show you the finger second finger second string third fret first finger third string fifth fret and third finger fourth string seventh fret this is your F triad so if you decode it this is the third this is the fifth this is the root F and this is your A and this is your C it's five sorry third fifth and root see two triads are side by side my C triad my F triad and if I take F triad here it looks like a D basically if you move the D chord to the with your first finger on the fifth fret what you get is a F triad and here it's one five and three so three five one this is the grouping all right so these shapes you need to remember C F so I would always recommend that you start switching from C triad to F triad then while soloing you can have the picture ready C F so if you can remember uh, again let's get back to Sultan of swing so I don't remember I think he played like this in D minor so D minor to C triad he was going to see someone playing shapes like this you'll get to know that that person is using a major or minor triad anyway so two triad shapes are like this so if you know this triad shape it's actually very easy to navigate so if you move this shape up a whole step your second finger gives you the root so this is your G triad so this is F triad and this is G triad and this is C triad and this is D triad so these are all movable you know so it'll help you in future anyway let's come back to the backing track and let's see whether we can use some ideas from this your solos will be very specific you know so when C is going on I will target just for the sake of understanding initially then we have to think later on in terms of melody that's the way music should be made not with theory but with feel but you need to know the sounds with the help of the theory so you will actually get to know the sounds with the help of the theory so theory is equally important so theory first then comes the feel all right so this is my c f now let's take i'll start with g i'm taking very basic phrasing one three five i'm starting from here then three for f i'm not taking too many notes so we'll start with only the root note. All right. Now I'll be start starting to add more notes. You can see the F triad. This is from C. I'm taking. phrase for the next line was like this when C was going on I was taking this note from the triad this is the third E when it was going to it went to F I just took the F note so I was just targeting the notes of the triad so C for C I was taking the third going to F is the root for the next chord then fifth I went to A note of So I can add expressions like slides You can already see you have to visualize the shapes I'm not going to play the shapes because that that will make it too like predictable I'll be just taking individual shapes for this shape 
then I'll, my target for F is this. I'm taking this C note. I can stay here because this is common between F and C. See, it's blending. Only one note. part of F okay there's a reason behind it because it makes it F major 7 but I'm not getting into so much details so your first targets will be target will be to nail the notes and now let's see something melodically okay keeping these target notes intact I need to use the notes of the scale as well all right some notes that might not sound good so the more you play you'll understand your fingers will remember which notes are not sounding good so that is also very important to play the wrong notes how the scale sounds over this if you don't know much then let's do it with the scales and gradually you'll be able to apply this idea so you need to have the scale sheet and you need to mark these notes anyway let's see Two. what about some sequencing patterns in thirds so I can use small fragments of the sequencing patterns inside this scale pattern keeping the arpeggios intact so lots of ideas don't try to play all the ideas at one time take it in chunks so now let's think of some sequencing patterns along with the arpeggio notes and the scale notes all right now f is coming don't do too much then it will sound as an exercise so you have to spray the magical solutions in between so many ideas that you can follow so make sure you take your time and learn the notes you need to remember the notes F, S, C and C, G where are these notes found and in some future lesson I'll be covering this position so you need to master the fretboard alright I'll see you next time bye bye thanks for watching and do like us in Facebook and Twitter where there are pages in the name of Tams Guitar and also mail me at info at tamsguitar.com if you have any queries and if you like this video please subscribe to my channel share it with your friends who are in need see you next time bye bye